everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday. So today I thought we'd try something a wee bit different. I was um, looking through TikTok, which I haven't done for ages, and found some brilliant Scottish videos. A few of them are about um, pronounci pronunciation. <laughs> so, good grief. Uh, so if they're doing pronunciation ones, I'll try and insert me saying the same words. See if I can say them. Other than that, it's just TikToks that I found were absolutely hilarious. Hope you enjoy. I've been asked to say these words about a million times. Let's go. Tralantula. Tralantula. Tralan. Tralantula. Tralantula. Burger. Vocabulary. 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 Vocab. Vocabulary. Burglary. Ooh. Burglary. <laughs> Burglary. Right. Next. Murder. Easy. Bird. There's no you. Bird. <laughs> that sounds weird. Bird. <laughs> Squirrel. Barrel. 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 Regularly. Regularly. <laughs> Reg. Regularly. No, regularly. Not there. Okay, here's, here's me going. <clears throat> Tarantula. Tarantula. Burger. Vocabulary. <laughs> Vocabulary. Burglary. 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 Yep. Murder. Bird. Bird. Squirrel. Barrel. Regularly. Regularly. This thing that is like things Scottish people can not say and I'm going to show you that I can in fact say them. Yes, I can. We've got a fanny that looks like a head of tarantula. Easy. Uh, no, I don't. I'll have you know I shave my fanny regularly. Simple. Maybe I need to go to the bank. Ugh, you can't go to the bank. The bank's shut. There's been a burglary. Okay. Okay. Ugh, there's been a burglary. Oh, you've got me there. You've got me there. Burglary. Burglary. How the fuck do you say that word? Burglary. It appears burglary is no part of my vocabulary. Oh, for fuck's sake. Doesn't sound good in my voice, because I've got a Scottish voice. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry in Scottish sounds if it's supposed to be followed with, but you f***ing started it, by the way. Onion. You got a fat bum? Aye. 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 Would you eat a steak pie? Aye. Onion, do you want to live in another home? That's it. That's it what? That's good then. <laughs> you just come in. I'm coming, Mum. Okay, come up. Okay. Come here. Eh? Hey. Oh, you're joking. Aye. All oh, right. Oh. Shrek forever after. That wee guy's like, do the war, do the war, do the war. I never thought I related to that scene until I got this app. As soon as somebody who's not Scottish gets a sniff of a Scottish account on here, all we get is Zebo burglar alarm, Zebo burglar alarm, Zebo burglar alarm. No, because I struggle, okay? Say it slow, say it slow. Purple burglar alarm, purple burglar alarm, purple burglar alarm. No, I'm not doing this. Do you think I'm some sort of performing monkey? Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay, here's my attempt. Purple burglar alarm, purple burglar alarm, purple burglar alarm. <laughs> Christ, purple burglar alarm. Um, home cooked food is really important as well. Okay, now the word for food in Scotland is minge. Minge. Minge, okay. Um, is, you know, is something that's become a staple diet in Scotland, okay? Okay. So when you say you're eating your mum's minge, it's, you're eating your mum's food. Scotland, I want you guys to, uh, to pay attention to this message. Here in the south, eating my mum's minge is very, very important to me. Keeps me big and strong, keeps me healthy. Um, her her minge is uh, rich and flavorful. Um, I'm not sure 
why it's not a big deal in Scotland to eat your mom's minge. Um, but I think it's I think it's very important. It's big for your family. It's togetherness. Um, so I highly recommend that you eat your mom's minge. And uh, you know, if you want, you come down here. You can eat my mom's minge. And um, in Scotland, we all say things like hang, we even hinking, wouldn't we? I mean. <laughs> I was in a shop the other day, right, and there's a guy in front of me in the queue, and he walked up to the lassie behind the counter, and he says, Excuse me, hen, I'm looking for a hang a hang hangs with. <laughs> it's a coat hanger, that's what he's looking for. <laughs> for an Englishman. In. There are some things, though, right, that we see in Scotland that I think can actually be quite useful, and I think should actually be like, added to the official English language, right? Like, for example, we pluralise in Scotland, we pluralise the word you, put an S on the word you, you say use. But English people, yous don't use yous, do yous? <laughs> and you know, if yous used yous, it would improve the English language immensely. Much in the same way that like potato scone or square sausage improves an English breakfast. This makes it. <laughs> but that is the most Scottish thing you'll ever hear. The round of applause for the mention of a fry up. <laughs> yes, heart disease, come on. I am a, it's a, it's a Scottish phrase, it doesn't even really translate directly into English, right? And I actually only realised that recently, because I said I am a to one of my English pals, and they pulled me up on it. He's like, sorry, can I stop you there? What are you actually saying? You're saying, I am a. Can you just break that down? What does that mean? And I'd never even really thought about it before, so I was like, well, I suppose I'm saying I to mean yes, and am to mean I'm, and are to mean are. <laughs> She would say, ah, oh, ah. Oh. And he goes, hang on, so you're literally saying to me, yes, I'm ah. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, I. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Can be hard though. It can be hard to have a Scottish accent, but I do try and be proud of having a Scottish accent and proud of being Scottish, proud of Scotland as a nation, really, because like Scotland has produced some of the greatest inventors and writers, artists, philosophers in the world. In fact, one thing I learned recently, right, is that apparently one of the most influential philosophical concepts was first coined by a Scottish guy, right? Now, I'd always thought this thing came from the French philosopher called René Descartes, but apparently it wasn't. Apparently it was actually from the Scottish philosopher David Hume. It's just that when he said it, no one understood what he meant. <laughs> when he came out with the phrase, I think therefore I'm a. <laughs> The end. Don't forget to like and subscribe and press the wee bell notification. And a huge big thank you to all my subscribers, patrons and members. See you next week. Bye bye.